Icebreakers are a good way for people to get to know each other in a fun way. Hi, I'm Eric, and I'm an English teacher, so these are for first day of class, but can be used for meetings or fun events. Let's look at 10 icebreakers for the first day of class. Number one, find something you have in common. Give each person a class list with everyone's names on it. Students can also write down each person's name if you are unable to print it out. Then, they have to go around the room and speak to each other. Their mission is to find one thing that they have in common. Same vacation home, favorite food, same amount of brothers. Students may not use the same answer twice. The great thing about this is that students will talk about many different things before they can find out the one thing they have in common. Make sure to check in with students after. What did you have in common with the person next to you? Number two, line up. Get students to line up according to different pieces of information. Start with something simple. For example, line up according to your heights, from shortest to tallest. Line up according to your birthday. Line up according to your name by alphabet. Another fun idea is to ask them to think of an interesting animal. Don't make it too easy. Now they have to mime the animal, then arrange themselves by what they think the size is of that animal. Once they're done, let the students reveal their animals to class. Number three, what's different? This is a really fun group activity. Split the class into two teams and let them line up to face each other. Tell them to look at the other team to make sure they notice all the details. Then one team turns around and looks away while the other team has to change things about themselves. They can switch places, they can exchange jackets, they can untie their shoes, they can untie some buttons, they can switch their watches from one wrist to the other, any change they can make. Then let the other group turn around and try and spot all the changes they have made. This is a simple activity that you don't need to prepare anything for. Icebreaker number four. Interview a partner. Get the students to interview a partner. They get a couple of minutes to ask each other questions and write down the answers. Make sure to ask them to make it interesting and to build up their partner, almost like a hype man. They should also focus on asking follow-up questions during the interview process. Once they are done, they should introduce their partner to class. Do an example before they start. A fun variation of this is the psychic game, where the students have to look at each other and then make guesses about what the other person is like. You have two brothers. You look like you enjoy spaghetti. You are good at math. Make sure that they make positive assumptions. To help you, I put a link in the description to questions two students can ask each other. Number five, M&M game. Buy a couple of packets of M&Ms. Then put the students into groups. Each student has to pick a random M&M and then talk about something for 30 seconds. The topic they have to talk about depends on the color of the M&M. For example, blue can be a hobby, yellow family or friends, green vacation, orange a favorite place, brown a wish, red food. This is a fun way for people to talk about different topics. Remember to check if a student has a peanut allergy, then you can just use the chocolate only ones. Number six, 250 conversation starters. Place the students in groups of three to five. I've collected 250 conversation starters, cut them out, and place them upside down in front of the groups. Taking turns, each student picks up a random conversation starter, which they will ask to the person to their right. They continue until the time is up. Remember, review every activity after you do it. Ask each student what they learned about someone else. Number seven, two truths and a lie. Write three facts about yourself on the board. Two are true and one is a lie. Make it interesting. After that, students should ask you questions to find out which one is true and which one is a lie. 
Then let them vote which one they think is the lie and reveal the answer. Give the students a couple of minutes to write down their own facts. Two true, one a lie. It should be random, make it fun, and don't copy your examples. Then place the students in smaller groups. They take turns sharing their three facts. The other students ask them questions and then guess they reveal the answer. Icebreaker number eight, mingle game. Ask students to walk around the class, then the teacher says a number. The students must form groups with that number. For example, they march around and you say the number two. All the students have to form pairs. If you say three, then they have to make a group of three and so on. Students who fail to form a group are out. Another variation you can do is you write a number on the board and they have a pre-arranged action they have to do with that number. For example, if it's the number one, they have to sit back to back with someone. If it's two, they have to stand with their toes touching. Three, they have to sit in a circle. Four, they have to sit on their chairs. The activities are up to you. Number nine, name grab. Get all your students to stand in an open area, then ask them to write their names on post-it notes, maybe two or three. Take all the post-it notes from them and attach them randomly to other students' backs. When you say go, the students have to walk around and try and find their own name. Remember to tell them no running or pushing. When they find a note with their name on, they take it and place it on their chest to show that they are done. Number 10, either or. This is a very simple exercise that involves the whole class together and a lot of movement. You should have a list of cues that you call out. Then the students have to stand on the left side of the classroom or run to the other side, depending on what they choose. For example, salty, sweet, coffee, tea, hot, cold. So if students prefer hot, they have to stand on the left side of the class. If they prefer cold, they have to go to the other side of the class. Dogs, cats, chocolate, vanilla, Justin Bieber, Ed Sheeran. Finally, ending class. I usually end class by asking students to think of any question they want to ask me. I give them some examples. What's your favorite food? Where are you from? Then go around and answer each student's question. Sometimes I ask them the same question back or different ones. Some of the questions I ask them back are, what's your best friend's name? What do you do together? What's your favorite Baskin Robbins flavor? And there we go. 10 icebreakers that you can use for the first day of class. I'm Eric from Etiquette and I'll see you next time.